Yeah. Okay, I want to just want to say how happy I am to be here. That's my goal in my life to talk about my experiences in the residential schools. I was I went to two of them, and uh, I uh, that's my goal in life to inform the children of today because you are going to be the leaders of tomorrow. How exciting is that? One of you could be chief or counselors or work for your community. So you will be the leaders and that's why it's important that you learn about the history of our people and what they went through and the struggles that they went through so that that will make you stronger, more knowledgeable and you'll be able to face the world and Canada and everyone else uh, with the truth about what took place in this country and the struggles that our, our people have gone through to overcome that and to become very, very confident leaders of tomorrow. I wish that for every one of you. Uh, Ani, Bujou, uh, Wachie. Uh, the Wachie part is uh, a, my Cree greeting to you as I'm a Cree person. And Ashke Badabin, the Shkweo, and Disnakaz. My name is New Dawn Woman. Of course, when I got that, it wasn't a very nice dawn, but here I am. And it is a wonderful place to be in now. And I understand, uh, oh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself, is that uh, at the age of, how many of you have uh, brothers and sisters that are four and five, small? That's when I went to school. That's when they came and got me. They think of your, your siblings. Can you imagine somebody taking them from your home and being away? That's what happened to us. That was a huge blow, not only to ourselves, but to our families. Can you imagine how the families felt? The parents, all the children were gone. What were they going to do? What were the grandmothers and the grandfathers going to do in the communities? They didn't have any more grandchildren to teach, pass on the skills and the knowledge that our people had a way of life that was truly, truly good. And it was truly, truly a wonderful community. And that was important. And there they were with no children. And it's like I say, the children of that time were going to be the leaders of tomorrow. Well, finally, here I am at that time, living in the fear and the loneliness and the heartache that it was to be in the residential school. Uh, to today, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy that I came through all that so I could tell you about it. And you would know that no matter what your life is like, you always can get through and decide, I'm going to do the best work that I can for my people. Because you know what? That's the most important work you can do, is to build a community and be a good leader in that community. Be a good helper and learn all you can about your life. Learn all you can about your parents and the history of your people. That's so very important. 